Hello all. So I'm in the kitchen today and I want to share with you a little cooking project that, that I'm working on right now. I've found some, uh, it's called milkweed vine fruit uh, that I'm processing up here. Let me see if I can get it in the lens. I need one of those selfie sticks. So uh, milkweed vine fruit, uh, it looks kind of like a chayote. Uh, this would be a large one. Um, and, you know, they, they start out, you know, just little small guys. Uh, when they're very small, you can use the, the, whole, the whole fruit. You can eat the whole fruit. Um, but once they start to get a little bit larger, uh, what you end up with is, is something like this. And what I've done is I've cut it in half. And inside of it, there is these little seed pods. So these are seeds, and then around it is kind of a fibery. If you were to let this, this fruit completely mature and get brown, it would pop open. And inside of it would be just this fluffy, it's kind of like the dandelion fluff with the seeds on the end so that the seeds would just you know, float, off, float off into the air. Um, but at this stage, it's not quite ripe, so the, you know, the silk, you can see on this one, actually, the silk is starting to open up a little bit. Um, so you, on the ripe fruit, you don't want to eat, you don't really want to eat the, uh, the seeds and the silk. So I go ahead and cut that out. Um, you should be able to eat the skin and also the, uh, you know, the insides, and there's kind of a, a spongy part here and then as you get closer to the edge there's a little bit it's a little bit firmer I've never cooked the full-size fruit before I've cooked the uh, the small fruit the you know the the baby fruit about the size of a uh, golf ball or so and I really did enjoy the flavor of them what I did is just steamed them and you know cut them in half and put a little bit of salt on them and ate them uh, I'm a pretty simple basic cook I don't know many many skills with that but to me, it tasted a little bit like artichoke heart, which that's, you know, that's like a, that's like an eight or nine out of a 10 for me as far as, as far as uh, food taste. So I'm going to see how this goes. Once again, I'm just going to uh, do the same technique. Uh, I have a little, you know, steamer basket in here and I'm just setting them in here and I'm going to steam them uh, and just kind of eat them like that and get the, you know, so I'll get the full the full flavor and I can really tell how, how they taste. Um, you can also, what I read, and I think I'm going to do that because right now I'm actually cooking it, do that, I didn't say what it is yet. Um, I'm going to do that, which I'm about to tell you. Um, I'm cooking a cauliflower head in the, in the oven right now, I'm baking it. Uh, so what I read is that you can bake these and it kind of dries them out and dehydrates them in a way. And then whenever you want to use them, so you can store them in a bag or whatever, uh, you can rehydrate them in soup and reconstitute them and, you know, and do that, I guess, uh, culturally they've done that in the past before refrigeration and things. So I'm going to try that also. So I'm going to let you go now and I'll return back in a second whenever I, uh, probably, I guess, whenever I, whenever I have them done. Okay, so actually I want to bring you back for one second. They're not done. I haven't even started cooking them yet. Uh, I just want to show you the, the inside of the fruit. When you start cutting it, do you see the... I'm going to put my hand on there so it doesn't drip on the floor. Uh, there's a very sappy latex inside of the fruit. And, you know, that can probably scare some people if they, if they see that. So, uh, you know, that's to be expected. No worries. I'm sure if you have some kind of latex allergy or something, I would say to, to maybe be cautious. Um, but you can you can actually eat the baby fruit raw, and I did. I took a bite out of it, um, and they do the same thing. They have a thick, just milky sap that comes out of them. That's why they call it milkweed vine. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it was weird. The taste of it raw, just with that sap, it was. The taste wasn't bad. It didn't change the taste much, but the texture and just that really thick sap. I don't know. It felt like it could be dangerous or something. So I didn't really eat too much of it. Um, but I just wanted to show show you all that so you knew what to expect. All right, so I also want to show you, I'm just dropping the, uh, these little guys into the, uh, I also want to show off my cauliflower. Um, 
I think I'm just gonna, I don't know if this is good cooking practice or not. Um, I have the oven set on, on 350 and I'm just gonna kind of stick these in here like that. It's just in a casserole pan. Uh, I didn't put any butter on them. I didn't do anything to them. So hopefully, uh, hopefully everything works as it's supposed to. Um, so I think I'm going to leave those in there. I'll just, I'm going to leave them in there and start pulling them out, put them back and just taste, testing them and seeing what they, what the texture is. Um, and then we'll have a sit down and, and eat everything and see how it tastes. Okay, so everything's done here. I've got the, the baked one, or no, this is the steamed one. And then I've got the, the baked one. I I steamed, steamed this for probably about 15 minutes, and then the baked one was in there for about 25 minutes. So I've already cut a little piece off of the, the steamed one here. So the inside still has a pretty good flavor. I'm comparing it to the baby ones that I've eaten before. The skin, I don't know, the, the skin on these big ones, it's not not very good. It's, it doesn't taste bad, it's just the, the texture is really uh, very, very stringy. So the inside of it, it's, it's kind of spongy. It stays kind of spongy, so this texture is different. Um, and it's definitely more spongy than the baby ones. The baby ones have a um, kind of a, a more... Uh, artichoke heart kind of texture to them so you know it's kind of consistent all the way through this one's you know it's a little bit spongy uh, I still like the flavor I would say it's it tastes very different than than when it was a baby I really can't describe it I don't know how to describe it it's I mean I guess it's got a, a little bit of it reminds me a little bit of like a spaghetti squash um, but it's it's got almost like a, uh, oh, let me think here. Oh, the textures are good. It's a good combination with this fruit. I don't know what you do with it. I'm sure if you're a chef, you could figure out something extremely interesting to do with that. Um, you just have to scrape the insides out of it before you serve it. So let's see the, uh, this is the baked one. Um, my guess is that the skin is probably going to be even a little bit tougher than, than the steamed one. And just cutting through it, I can already tell that it's, the skin's going to be a little bit tough. Um, so let me cut a nice juicy part out of the center. All right. So I can already tell that the, the texture of it is a little bit more rubbery than the, than the steamed one. If that view helps you at all. So, okay. Wow, almost like a, wow, definitely a different texture when you bake it. It's almost like a, like the sponginess of, I would imagine if I ate like an eggplant raw, but the flavor is good. Wow. Wow, that's, that's pretty impressive. Man, I think if you bake them and just cut them into little slices like this, almost like an orange and you can oh man wow I'm definitely impressed with that man that's probably the go-to and I think I think if you seasoned them it would be oh man it would be really good that's a that's an excellent an excellent flavor um, it doesn't have like the, the little bit of mushiness that reminds me of the the spaghetti squash that this one has it's definitely a spongy firm um, almost like a, a tender meat like texture to it um, more similar to the to the baby one but I'm kind of preferring this actually the best the best over all of them so I'd say a, you know any kind of garlic or you know butter or something like that oh we're almost into the, the video but these these grow uh, it's a wild invasive weed in Florida it used to take over orange groves before they started spraying Roundup all over them. Um, so go out there and search and find them. 
and, and cook some up. Cook them as babies and then, and then cook them when they're bigger. I, I think this is, oh, and they put out loads and loads of fruit and they grow prolifically. They're, um, they're pretty, pretty amazing plants. And I think you can eat the, uh, the shoot tips and things like that. Wow, I'm gonna start bringing these home and cooking them, baking them all the time. This is, whew, I mean, without any flavoring, without any seasoning, it's, it's very enjoyable. All right, thanks for joining.